Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Adrian Beauty out here. So I haven't recorded in a while because you know I've been busy with work and stuff like that. As you can see, I cut my hair. Um, yeah, so I decided to cut my hair because um, I dyed it a lot last year and I need to start again. Um, I hope you like it, you know. I hope you like it. And while you're here, you might also subscribe. While we're here, um, we're gonna I'm gonna kind of do a kind of get on ready with me, do my skincare routine, you know, talk about the whole kind of um, ABH Novena situation that's happened thus far. Because cause a lot has happened in the last maybe two hours or so. Maybe four, two to four hours or so. Or so. so, so we're going to do that. I've already done my micellar water. I use the Nivea Micellar Skin Breathe Micellar Water 3 in 1. Removes makeup, clean, gently cleans, and smooths and hydrates. I've done that. Oh gosh. So, my next routine thing is is the simple profile and cleansing lotion. I have to do this for like a minute or so, just get it all off, you know. So, so, Norvina has been off YouTube, not YouTube, off Twitter for a while now, and people have been has have had concerns with. Her sending a her sending um products to a known drama channel that is not you know we don't we don't we really like them you know I personally don't find them entertaining whatsoever I don't find them funny I find it very I was showing I don't find it funny I find them somewhat offensive. And you know, I don't subscribe to that content anymore. You know, I used to not anymore. I'm no longer be talking about, I'm no longer be talking about drama channels on my YouTube channel because really I'm trying to be a better person, influencer or not. I'm trying to be a better person that has a bit, that uses my voice for for good, you know, that uses my voice for and beat some issues that really affect me and the black community, you know, beauty community and etc. So she, so the, that issue began where she was, she sent a <clears throat> expensive bag to a drama channel that we don't, that I personally don't like and I have an issue with because this person has made comments about black people, has used the N word, etc. So, so I have an issue, I have an issue with that, you know, I take issue with that. So, so but that she was, been, she, like, she was offline and didn't see the backlash for that. So another content creator, another creator said, I don't want to be on this PR list, if you're going to, you see that cheekbone, you see that, you see, you see that, you see that jaw, yeah, so I, <laughs> so yeah, um, she was, so I want to be on the PR list, if you're going to be treating people like this, etc, so my is ignoring this, so, another person came online roughly today, no, 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 she, she made a comment, she made, she tweeted something like yesterday, or something like that, saying, um, why are, why are, why is ABH reaching out to me? With an email saying, "Hey, pardon me, we want you to make content for us to for you to have a chance." Now, a chance. That's, the, the word "chance" is important because um, it, it feels like you're having to battle people to get on, you know, get on that uh, Instagram page. I think so, but we all know ABH has the the funds to. Um, we know ABH has the funds to uh, afford to pay content creators and influencers for for content. You know, ABH makes enough money. They have they have the funds to do that, you know? So yeah, so I'm now going in with the Garnier Organic um, Lavandin um, Day Cream. I know it's night, but day cream. So um, yeah, so we all know that um, ABH has the funds to afford to pay for content creators and invoices etc a certain amount well money not like as an indie brand etc so Novena comes back online and she releases a statement so i'm going to read the statement to you and i'm going to i'm going to also in I, i'm also going to put it in this video i'm going to read the statement to you so give me one minute so the statement reads as follows good morning everyone i haven't been on twitter for a few weeks now due to the personal things and focusing on campaigns so i'm a little bit of, out of the loop this morning, my friend texted me a tweet was posted by an artist that I respect and I wanted to log, log on to address both her and our community as a whole at the person. 
I know you posted this week about Avery reaching out to you and requesting content for the chance of a feature. I want to personally apologize to you, to you first and foremost. It's extremely disrespectful and I 100% understand why you are upset. And I'd be P2. We recently grew our social team to keep the brand moving forward while I've been focusing more on creative, on creative, yeah. And this email was sent by a new hire. I was not aware, now that's the issue, but I'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. I was not aware that these proposals were being sent and I'm very frustrated that they were because this does not align with our brand values. I promise that this has been addressed internally with the entire team. I fully understand that this does not erase what happened and the damage has been done. Yeah, and I'm sorry on behalf of our entire brand. You don't owe us your acceptance, but I truly hope that in the future we can discuss and we'd be more than excited to work there on a proper paid collaboration. In regards to the rest of the community, we hear you are loud we hear you loud and clear about these issues and are super disappointed that we've hurt or dis disrespected anyone. Everyone deserves to be paid when they do work, and all of this has always been a core value of mine personally, our brand slipped. Okay. Our brand slipped and I know it's on me to handle. I can sit here and write that we will do better all day long, but I actually speak louder than words and I hope to show you all show you all how much we love, care, and respect the makeup community. So that's what more female wrote. I will also put it in the video as well. And yeah. So we're gonna go in with the smooth and facial oil. That one's gonna be my so yeah, so I have, so I have a little, I'm a little concerned about that statement because, um, actually, uh, I would say this, it wasn't addressed to me because ABH haven't come to me and said anything about c content or sponsorships or etc stuff like that. Um, what, what I have a big issue is, is the fact that, number one, why is a new hire, why does a new hire have access to your E access to emails where they can send to influencers or content creators. Number one, that's an issue. Number two, did you not brief your new hires on the protocols that take place, etc.? Uh, um, what else? What else I have an issue with? Um, also, I also I also want to say this. The reason why Novima takes so much of the flack for ABH is because I, my person, I, I believe that she's made herself, she's made herself way too public. And that goes the same for Marlena Stell. Even though I'm affiliated with Makeup Geek, go use my code Adrian Beauty or capital is W E L E N for 10% off. I do make a big commission. But yeah, uh, I think that's also, it's a big issue because Novima, even she, she's part of the creative team and she gets, you know, she has kind of control of what happens. But at the same time, she's made, she has, she gets most of the brunt of it because she is somewhat the face of the brand. Does that make sense? So she, she's, she's way, as a brand owner or brand, someone who has control, she's hyper visible. Which in my opinion means that, oh, which means that, oh God, which means that she also, she also, how do I say this? She's a hyper visible brand owner. What brand owner? She's hyper visible in that regard. So she was good. I think she's gonna get the brunt of it because you can't be. I I hope you get what I'm saying. You know, she's just a hyper visible brand owner, like Marlene Estelle, Marlene Estelle, Marlene Estelle from Makeup Geek, and there there come there comes issues issues with that. You know, when you're hyper visible, you do take the brunt of it. Because you are technically the face of the brand, you know? Does it make sense? Um, so yeah, so um, number one, my, that was my first issue. Please pay content creators for making content for you. You know, I think, I think at this point in time, uh, at this point in time, when you're, my opinion is, if you're a smaller creator and you're just starting out, as a, a content creator, then maybe you might accept that, you know, getting reposted on someone's page, maybe, you know, or a, get like or a brand you girl's page is great. And you may feel like it's justified. But when you've been doing this for a while, 
when you're doing this for a while and you're you're they, I think when the brand has contextually liked your work, I think it I think it there needs to point where it becomes monetary. You know, it becomes I think it's become a point where it becomes kind of like, hey, we know you love our brand, we want to sponsor you, etc. Cetera, da, da, da. I think you can't be there can't be no kind of we love you, but you have to you have to there's a chance if you make contact with us, there's a chance you might be sorry, I'm, there's a chance you might be sponsored or you not sponsored, you might be you might be able to put be put on our page. You know? Chance, like I said before, chance in my mind means I have to fight other content creators to be on your page. I don't think that's fair. Now, also, what I have an issue with with Novena is says, I know you've been away for a while, for from Twitter for a week, for a few weeks, like you said in your in your video. Uh, what am I going to do next? I think I'm going to go in with the, um, the toner. Like I said, you've been away for a while off, off, off Twitter, but you've been on Instagram. So I think you, you probably have seen what's going on, you know? Anyway, that's neither here nor there. But, um, uh, you've been offline for a while. And like I said, it's, okay, let's just get into the crux of it. You know, Novena, can we, Novena, can we just talk you and I, please? So, sis, why? Why? Why have you, on Twitter, you have not, have yet to address the, 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 the elephant in the room, which is, number one, you've addressed the payment, the lack of payment for content creators, which that like your brand, but you have not, in my opinion, you have not addressed the fact that, that you have, uh, that people are concerned about the that you are supporting racism, or you support, you are supporting racists in the beauty community, and it's like a slap in the face to, it's like a slap in the face to all the black content creators that use your brand and like your brand. Now, now do I think, do I think that, ABH are gonna mess up the coin because of this? No, but I do think they may lose, they may lose the respect that black, they may lose the respect that black content creators have for them. Does that make sense? Like, like when, like when someone asks her, hey, sis, we need you to um, extend the, um, we need you to extend the line of bronzes because it's not deep enough. She responds with like, oh, well, um, well, you know, brand um companies don't want to hold deeper bronzers, etc., like that. And then maybe like a week or so ago, she comes up. They come. ABH comes up with a mascara. Now, riddle me this: What makes more money, complexion products, or mascara? Because I would put complexion, eyeshadow, etc., way above mascara. And this way is not to drag Novena. Novena, I respect Novena as. As a con as a content creator influencer, as a kind of part brand owner, etc. But it's to keep it's to hold her accountable. It's to hold and like I said, and the reason and I, I, it's sad that Mavina has been put in a position where she's so hyper visible, where where she will get the brunt of people's concern. You know, she'll get the brunt of she'll get the brunt. And you know, I think it's it like I said, it's not about drag it's not about dragging her in this video. That's not that's not it. But it's about holding her accountable for the like holding her accountable for what she said and what she's done in the past. I like I said, does that mean I'm going to stop buying from ABH? Now, I've only bought the Jackie Iron palette from ABH and the quality was great. But at this point in time, I need to know that ABH and Robina are moving are moving in a direction that supports me and other black content creators. Because this is this is big this it might be this may be bigger than just, you know, pay content or, you know, it's will you start to support black content creators? Will you start to be innovative when it comes to your products? And I feel like the word inclusive is being banded around front and around as if it's, oh, we've been inclusive, but we don't see no change, you know? And we need to, I would like to see that, you know, I would like to see some change in the community, you know? And, um, I think that's about it for now. I'm gonna go on with the, okay, sorry, sorry, I used the, the Garnier Organic Oil. I went in with the Garnier Organic Pure Time Perfecting Toner, 
which is for combination to oily skin. And I'm going to go in with the Hydrating Mist, which is for dry, sensitive skin. But yeah, but yeah, thank you for watching. And you know, just please take people, take it on board. Also, with the coronavirus, wash your hands. Please wash your hands. You know, um, it's important that you are taking precautions to stop this virus spreading, but also don't, you know, fall into the scaremongering tactics, you know? Let's be aware of what's happening. And yeah, see ya, bye.